Hey everybody, Adam here from Tested, and I am not at Tested. I'm in a very special uh, location. Last fall, 2018, um, there was this amazing story that came to my attention about a high school that put on a high school play production of Alien. Well, I'm actually standing in that high school right now. I'm in North Bergen High School in New Jersey, and the art class of our teacher, Stephen Defendini, the class that put on this play, and the kids that built all that amazing stuff, well, some of them are in this room right now working on some costumes for New York City Comic Con, which happens to be why I'm on the East Coast. So I'm gonna go see what they're working on. All right, Dakota, I see that you're doing some preliminary draping here. Yeah. What, what, what is the costume we're looking at? So basically this is uh, Red Robin. So um, in the comic books, uh, Tim Drake's Robin kind of evolves from the boy wonder into his own hero. Okay. He wants to step away from Batman uh -huh. and kind of be his own thing. This emblem and this strap over here, I think that's kind of like his his trademark. So, um, and he has his cape over here, which I need to attach in a second. And it's gonna have red sleeves. Are these gonna attach right to this guy? Yeah, it's gonna attach right here. So I found that with this, cause I just wanted to uh, be as um, This like, is a top with gloves and in, 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 I've never seen such a thing. Yeah, so I basically kind of glued on the knuckles. These are oh, little that's foam, awesome. pieces, yeah. foam pieces that, you know, just buy anywhere. Uh -huh. um, so I used this skin suit that I bought online because I wanted something that was flexible and yeah. that like wouldn't be as hot. And then I bought this fabric at Michael's. It's like a, a red sat satin. Uh -huh. um, but I found that the challenge with this was that this was stretchy and this wasn't. Yep. That's <laughs> So I didn't, I didn't anticipate It'd that. It'd be so much better if this was stretchy and this wasn't. Yeah, it'd make my <laughs> life a lot easier, right? Is there a Robin mask, a classic yes. Robin mask? Uh, well, this is his oh. helmet. Oh, okay. Um, that that he wears. That is lovely looking. All right, we, oh, I see it's actually wet with paint. Yes, it is. Look at that, I'm, that's awesome. <laughs> and that's just camping foam and some, yeah, something some, covering over the so top? So I used a red, um, fat, like a red material mm -hmm. and it kind of like, when you heat treat it, it kind of like um, attaches to the foam. Oh. So, and then I just painted over and it kind of covered up some of the seams yeah. that um, It hit some of the crimes, yeah. as we say. Yeah, because <laughs> we, <laughs> doesn't look good when those crimes are showing. Yeah. Dakota, I can't wait to see what you finally come up with. Thank you, sir. Right, thank you. All right, Jalen. Now, you did a, a lot of the costuming for the space suits from Alien, yes? Yes. So you crawled over a lot of the same reference material that I've spent so many years crawling inside of. Um, <laughs> it's, I, I just love knowing that other people have sort of like gone down the same weird mental pathways that I have. But what are you working on here today? Um, here, it's not really finished yet, but this is gonna be a jacket for America Chavez, which is, she is a female Spanish um, superhero for Marvel. Yeah. And she's really cool. She's on the top five for Spanish superheroes. Amazing. Everywhere, so love her, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then next to, next to the jacket is my brother's, well, soon to be tied fall outfit. Okay, so what's gonna happen with the jacket? The jacket is the key part of, of the costume. Yes. And the, what, are you, what are you gonna do to this? The jacket so? is gonna be America's colors. So mm -hmm. the red white would be over here and then the blue would be on the shoulders with the stars. Okay. What other parts of the costume do you have to complete? You're gonna wear this at Comic-Con? <laughs> yes, Sunday. I'll be there Sunday. Okay, and <laughs> it's Thursday today? That's, yeah. all right. Yeah. How, are there <laughs> helmets, weapons, whips, uh, crossbows? No, she, what does she carry? She's very casual because, yeah. you know, you know, growing up Spanish, you don't really have much to like, you know, own. You don't really own much. You don't really have that much money. So she wears a jean jacket, t-shirt and shorts and she just goes out there and saves people. She just showed up to play. She showed up to play. <laughs> awesome costume to make. Yeah. Um, what is? What are you anticipating will be the biggest challenge of getting this across the line? She's a little bit more muscular than me. Not gonna lie. Okay. She's she's also six foot. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. not building that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there, I, I, you didn't ask for advice, but I'll tell you, you know, shoulder pads, you could take some, uh, take some foam okay. and carve some shoulder pads and jam them in the shoulders and just a little bit, literally half an inch wider will make you look way more muscular. Yeah, okay. just in the shoulder. <laughs> Can I do that with all my clothes? Absolutely. <laughs> I totally want to do that too. Thank you so much for showing me that. That's great. Yeah. Gabriel. I'm seeing what looks like some foam armor. Talk me through this costume that you're making. Okay, the armor I'm making is from um, Halo 3 ODST. Okay. I come to find that like ODST yeah. had to be like my, some of my favorite characters in the game. How come? Well, it's because they had so much personality compared to the Master Chief in the game. Okay. Yeah. 
So I want to make some ODST armor, but with my own twist. So as you can see with the white and blue, I'm giving this ODST armor a 501st aesthetic ah. from Star Wars. Yeah. And is this like, I'm looking at, this is a preliminary paint job, but this is more of what the finished paint job should look like? Yeah, yeah, in a sense. I really like this, uh, the gradient you've got going on here with the dark around the outside. It makes it feel very weathered. And I love this idea of using Stormtrooper color scheme for <laughs> halo armor. Wow, this paint, paint is still wet. Yeah. Oh, it's latex. I'm kidding, I did not <laughs> like the actual paint. Oh, that's great. So then this guy lives like there. Yeah, right there. Nice. And some of these will be blue and some of them white. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It'll be, it'll be this weathered the too. buckles go around here or something? Uh, so you're in the home stretch. How many hours do you think you have left? Five, six, 10, 20? All the time that I have. Oh. Really <laughs> to Whatever time there is between now and then, that's your time. That's great. Gabriel, I love your paint work. This is really, really exciting. The paint job is excellent. I can't wait to see the finished product. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Sarah, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I see you've got, did you cut yourself? Burnt myself. Burnt yourself, yes. how? Hot glue gun. Welcome to the club. <laughs> that is just a badge of honor. Okay, tell me, what, tell me what this Minnie Mouse is about. So basically I wanted to combine Poison Ivy with Minnie Mouse Ooh. and make something different. I got this idea because I was in my sculpting class and our, my teacher, Mr. Cutsup, was talking about how this um, kindergarten school did this mural of Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse. So I was like, I want to do something creative, something that is like, you know, I don't know, brings your spirits up, mm -hmm. but something creepy. This is great. And this is some kind of amazing textured fabric you found. Oh, and so that's what all that, right. I now I get yeah. why the flowers are all over here because you're doing the, the floral arrangement mm -hmm. because it's poison ivy. Yeah. And this is my first project that I'm working on by myself with help here and there, but something that I'm working on, so I'm kind of proud of it. I, yeah. As you should be. I also really love the weirdness of your mashup. Like, one mm -hmm. of my all-time favorite costumes was the pink Hello Kitty Darth Vader that was at a Comic-Con about 10 or 12 <laughs> years ago, because it's weird and awesome and really cool stuff happens in that space. So mm -hmm. thank you for showing me this. Thanks. It's beautiful. I appreciate it.